Hey, what's up everybody? Hope everybody's doing well. And in this video, I'm going to talk about how to set up a PFSense router for our virtual environment for the MCSA. So, the way you do that in VirtualBox is by creating a new virtual machine. You can go ahead and name it whatever you'd like. I'm just going to go ahead and call it PFSense router and router test because I already have one set up. It's going to be a BSD. 64 bit for me, depending on what you installed. For me, I have the PFSense 64 bit here. So, next. Uh, I would want to put 512. So, I'm going to do that. And I would go ahead and make this VDI. It's alright. Dynamically allocate. I would go ahead and put 8 gigabytes on here. So, go ahead and do that and create. Alright, so before you get that turned on you want to go to settings and modify a couple of things um, especially here in the network section so what you want to do is the first adapter uh, if you want to follow along with me I would say do this the way I'm doing it um, here you want to make this the internal network alright so this one here is pretty m I'm sorry this one we're gonna make it the bridge adapter so this one here is going to be bridged and you're going to select the NIC card on your computer that's the back of your computer has a NIC card that connects to the internet sometimes it's a wireless card sometimes it's a actually gigabit ethernet card so go ahead and select that adapter 2 you want to enable that and make that one the internal network and when you do that you want to make this network the same network as the rest of your other uh, uh, computers that are going to be on this lab network. So the default one is internet. So I left that the same, uh, and pretty much that's it. So, like I said, it's going to be the same as these other ones. So if I were to go here, that's going to be internet internal network. So all the other devices here on your system only have one network card, but the PFSense router is going to have two. So pretty much what it's doing is it's emulating. A WAN, a WAN port and a LAN port on your interface on your the back of the router. So this one here is connected to per se the modem, and this one's connected to your network, you know, like a switch or something. So that's pretty much what it's emulating at this point. So yeah, all right. So let's go ahead and turn that on, and um, I'm gonna go ahead and click OK and select the file I have pfSense here and go ahead and click OK now you gotta be on your feet here what you wanna do is select the number one to boot pfSense and then be ready to click the letter I so once that goes through uh, it'll say right here do you want uh, to enter the launch installer to launch the installer or go to recovery mode I want to launch the installer so I click die I went ahead and just apply the normal settings and do a quick and easy install so I'm just follow through with that and then that sh this installation really shouldn't take that long so that goes through and it's gonna be standard kernel and let's go ahead and reboot so at this point you want to select the devices here and you want to uncheck pfSense and then force unmount it and that's to make sure that it doesn't boot up from the from the disk the next time it comes in and that was my phone I apologize all right, so not sure if the reboot's actually happening here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a reset. All right, go ahead and boot. Press F1. So got F1, and there you go. Now this time, just go ahead and let this count down, and that'll do its thing here again. alright so now it's gonna ask you do you want to set up VLANs in this case uh, I'm not gonna set up a VLAN 
and it's asking you now to enter the WAN interface name. If you did it the same way I did, uh, this should be EM0. Okay. All right. And um, enter the LAN interface name. Uh, and if you did it the same way as me, it's going to be EM1. Like that. Uh, this is optional, so I'm just going to put nothing. And uh, the interfaces will be assigned as follows. So the WAN is EM1 and the LAN is EM. I'm sorry, the LAN is EM1 and the WAN is EM0. So that's fine with me. You want to proceed? Go ahead. All right, so that's starting. Okay, and there you go. You have your network started. So pretty much here, what it's telling you is that the WAN is receiving the 192.168.77.21. So this is pretty much emulating like what an ISP would get you. So your ISP gives you a DHCP address, and that's what it is. Well, in this case, since it's emulating, it's grabbing the home network internet connection, and it's giving me this IP address. And the LAN here is going to be um, the IP address of this router is going to be 192.168.1.1. And this is actually a slash 24, which is a 255.255.255.0 subnet mask. So that's it. So once you actually have this ready, what I would just do is just really close it and save the machine state. And that way, the next time you start it up, you can just go ahead and uh, just bring it up and then your router should be up and ready to go and you should be able to uh, get all that set up so one of the things you want to keep in mind uh, you can actually change this around you can change the uh, the IP address of the LAN by pressing on 2 and you wanna go ahead and the one you wanna configure is 2 and then you wanna enter the new LAN IPv6 IPv4 address so you can change that if you want to do a 10.1.1.1 network you can do that but um, I'm actually not gonna um, I, I guess I'm I gonna have to change it now so 192.168.1.1 alright so here a slash 24 so I'm gonna go ahead and put a 24 because it's gonna be a regular class C subnet mask uh, do you want to enable DHCP server on the LAN? Uh, in this case, I don't, because I'm going to have a DHCP server uh, hosted on Windows, on uh, the Windows server. Do you want to revert HTTP? HTTP. Uh, so uh, no, I don't even know what that is. And then once that's done, click enter. So and that should that should uh, be edited correctly. So now what you want to make sure is that when you go over to your virtual machines here. Uh, you want to make sure that the IP address is in the same network. So in that, in this case, it means that each of these uh, servers need to be in the 192.168.1. Whatever. So these three first uh, octets—that's what they're called—need to be exactly the same on each of these servers. So, um, but this one here has to be unique. So. If I were to go ahead and uh, open up a Windows 8 box here, go ahead and sign in. I go ahead and pause the video here. All right. So once that resumes, uh, you can go ahead and right-click and click Open Network and Sharing Center go to change adapter and what you want to do is go ahead and set the IPv4 you see how these three are the same that means uh, in the subnet mask the 255 means that all of these are network bits so we want to be in the same network so 192.168.1 and this is just our host number so it's dot ten in this case dot one here is the pfSense router so 192.168.1.1 that's why we have that as our default gateway our DNS server is going to be this computer later on so I just left that as the same IP address and that is just a public DNS server that I have as a backup so once that's once your network is set up like that 
then it should be uh, really that should be the end of it there, sh there should be no issues anymore and you should be able to uh, uh, go ahead and set up the DHCP servers so that's pretty much the end of what what I'm gonna call the the prep the MCSA prepping uh, so at this point what I did and I would recommend is to set up two or three servers okay and uh, three workstations just to work with group policies and things like that so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and leave a rating down there and if you have any questions always feel free to leave a comment and uh, I'll see you guys next time bye bye